from other trucking companies out there is our personal approach to the driver, our desire to get him home, our desire to make sure that we're involved with his finances, make sure that he's successful with us. Um, it's, it's more of a family marriage than it is a, an employer. Uh, so we look for those special drivers that want to be part of our team. Welcome to MTC 21. That's right, everybody, on the Lockout Men podcast show, where we make the calls for you. And I'm Lockout Men, and today's call is going to be to AFC Transport out of Oak Brook, Illinois. The phone number there, if you'd like to know, it is 331-333-8200. Yo, let's just jump right into it. AFC Transport. What you guys want to know about them? It is a growing family company owned and operated that hasn't lost touch with any of their real live truckers. Hmm. We are one of the premier flatbed and refrigerated carriers in the Midwest, specializing in flatbed, conestogas, kind of specialized loads, and oversized. So if you're looking for a company that, that does oversized freight on flatbed, this might be the company for you. They achieve their goals with productivity, safe and experienced drivers, happy and motivated office team, excellent customer service, and a well-maintenance equipment. All right, so since we know that much about them, if you like content like this, yo, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you like it, yo, let me know if you like it by sharing it. Maybe somebody out there might just be interested in AFC Transport. Yo, let's head over to the bit board and see what AFC is all about. Nice little website that I was able to find. Uh, they are a reefer company as well. So as I said before, they are a flatbed and reefer company. All right. So you might have your choice of you might have the choice of a lot of lanes over there, you know, about running uh flatbed and running reefer. So you probably might be able to do both at the same time. Who knows? But let's get in let's let's get into AFC and see what they got to offer right quick. So on their website, uh Reefer Company Drivers, Reefer Company Drivers, Reefer Company Drivers. Let's see what they got to offer for you guys. Their top earners make over 85,000 annually. Conditions apply. They always have to have that air quotes. You know what I'm saying? Starting salary is at 48 cent per mile. Average miles about 2,500 to 3,500 miles per week. Detention, layover, breakdown pay, new equipment from Peterbilt's, Freightliners, and Kenworth models. They got major medical coverage and 401ks available. Paid orientation, safety and referral bonuses, Weekly settlements that's direct deposited. They're rider friendly and pet friendly. But let's see if they felon friendly, right? Right? Company qualif I mean company truck qualifications. Of course, you need a valid CDLA, at least 23 years of age, two years of driving experience with class A, and six months of reefer experience. So with that said. Uh, if you're coming in, if you're coming into this company, you got to at least have two years of experience. And that's what I was telling you guys about this. It's probably might be one of those companies that you just can't jump out of, out of school and jump right into here. They want you to at least have two years, but within that two year period, they want you to have at least six months driving with a reefer attached to the back of the trail. I mean, back of the truck. Let's see what their flatbed drivers, let's see what they earn. So flatbed, OTR flatbed truck drivers benefits. They earn 95,000 per year annually. Conditions apply, air quotes. Uh, $1,000 weekly minimum guarantee pay. Now, this break that down for a second let's break that down for a second 
when any company says that they guarantee you a certain amount every year, when a company guarantees you a certain amount every week, you got to tend to think about what are the qualifications for that guaranteed pay. Do you got to be available Monday through Friday, Monday through Sunday, uh, 24 hours a day? How'd that work? And again, let me flip the script on you. Is $1,000 a week is enough for you? After taxes, well, after $300 of taxes for me, that gives me about $700. Then you got bills to pay. You got a mortgage to pay, car note to pay. You got to send money home to pay. You got, don't, don't forget, if you go with their, uh, their benefit package, the benefit pay, don't forget Sam wants his, uh, SS wants theirs. So you, you're going to be coming home with about what? About four, five hundred dollars doing flatbed considering that they said that you make 95 K a year. Mm, you might want to think about that, bruh. Average miles, 2,500 to 3,500 uh, miles per week. Tarp and stop pay, detention, layover, breakdown, new equipment, Peterbilt, Freightliner, Kenworth, major medical coverage, 401k, uh, paid orientation, truck sanitized between drivers. What do that mean? What exactly do that mean? So is this a slip seed? Truck, the truck is not mine. What is that? We're gonna have to we we're gonna have to find out a little bit more about that. Uh safety and referral bonuses, weekly settlements and direct deposit, rider and pet friendly. Again, we gotta see whether or not if they're felon friendly. But we'll we'll find out a little bit more about that. Now, as far as their qualifications go, you need a valid CDLA, at least 23 years old of age, two years of driving with a class A, and six months of flatbed experience, meaning that I don't believe that they're going to train you for this position. You got to already know how to lock it down. Pretty much. Pretty much. Uh... Oh, they're hiring areas right here, uh, pretty much all over the whole 48. Uh, home Weekly is between Illinois, Gary, Indiana, Ohio, and a little bit of Pittsburgh, PA. And it looks like a little bit of West Virginia, I think. I'm not sure. If, yeah, that's a little bit of West Virginia right there. Uh, home every two weeks which is everything going to East Coast. And every three to four weeks, the whole shebang, the whole shebang. So if you want to go out there and make some money, this probably might be the company to do it with. But um, I'm thinking, I know what you guys might want to know. Lockout men, do they have owner operators or do they offer, do they offer lease? Here now, before we get into leasing, just know again what's my stand on it. With any leasing contract that you do, you're going to always be a 1099 driver. You're going to be responsible for everything, including the fuel and the payment of the truck. And you're going to have to keep in mind that leasing should only be to get in. Save your money for what you want to do in the long run and get out. All right. As long as you keep that key thing in your head, I think you'll be all right. So let's talk about their lease purchase programs over there. Yo, ready to switch from company driver to owner operator or lease purchase driver? The program can get you on the road in a 20. 15 or a 2020 tractor trailer with weekly payments ranging from 400 to 900 dollars choose between peterbilt volvo freightliner or a kenworth model man that's not that's that's not bad when you think about it 400 to 900 dollars that's not bad at all 
The advantage of their lease purchase program is no money down, 80% starting pay. So you get 80% of the low, steady year round freight, pay increase yearly up to four assistance with maintenance, average 200,000 200, gross revenue, six figures, y'all. Six figures. Ain't that what you guys want? Six figures. Stability, referral, and safety bonuses available. Monthly fuel rebate. No force dispatch. Weekly settlements. Dollar buyout at the end of the lease term. And 24-hour breakdown assistance. The lease purchase qualifications are valid CDLA with at least 23 years of age, two years of driving experience with a class A, six months of flatbed and or reefer experience, and no more than two moving violations in the last three years. That's what's up. I mean, AF, AFC Transportation. AFC Transport. This might be a this this might be a good company, y'all. I mean, if this is something that you guys is looking for, a lease purchase program that's offering you six figures, and a company uh, and a company program that's starting you at and a company program that's starting you at forty eight cent per mile. That's uh, driving the reefer. And let's see, on flatbed, they're offering, as for a company driver, you're going to earn anywhere between 48 cents a mile that's driving the reefer. Or if you want to get into flatbed, it's going to be 55 cents a mile. Conditions apply. So we're going to find out a little bit more about conditions apply. In this call. AFC, this is Kelsey. How can I help you? Good morning, AFC. How you doing today? Good, how are you? I am fine. Thank you. Thank you. Are are you a recruiter? I am. All right. Are you a driver? Uh yeah, I, I I'm a potential driver that's you know just uh went into a Facebook group, came across AFC Transport. Okay. I see you guys Uh, are doing flatbed and uh, and reefer, so I thought I'd give you a call to find out a little bit more about the yeah. company. Is it perfect? How long have you been driving? I've been driving for about six years now. Uh, is it all right that I ask you, you know, talk to you okay. or ask you some questions about the company? Sure. Awesome, awesome. All right. Of course, my name is Sean, by the way, so I let you know my name and everything. Um, again, like I said, I came across you guys in a, you know, in a Facebook group. You know, I'm, you know, I uh, uh -huh. network with, you know, several different drivers and stuff like that, and and um, you know, the name okay. came up, so I went to go on the website. Pretty good website. Um, so can you give me a little bit of background about the company? Yeah. So we've been in business for going on. Six, uh, well, no, it might be going on eight now, eight years. Uh, it started as just flatbed. Uh, a few years ago, we started a, a smaller reefer division. Right now, at this time, we are only looking for flatbed drivers. Uh, there is a waiting list for the reefer division. Um, we pay gross revenue in our lease purchase in company. So if you're doing lease purchases, 80% gross revenue. If you're doing that in company, it'd be 28% gross revenue. Um, our truck payments, if you do the lease purchase program, is a weekly payment for four years. No credit checks, uh, no down payment, no balloon payment. Oh, uh, um, okay, okay. So, and we uh, have okay, so basically, no. We have it, freight liners, Kenworth, and Peterbilt. All right, so basically you guys have a have a waiting list for the reefer division. How how long is the waiting list? Uh, there's no talent. There's about nine drivers on there now, but not everybody's ready to go right when we call. So they kind of, we kind of circulate down that list to see who's ready each week that we might have some equipment available. Okay, um, okay. Are you looking to do something or reefer? 
Uh, well, I, I see you guys got both of them, so I probably could just get information on 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 both, but probably be more interested in uh in in reefer. But you know, come in and probably just do the flatbed until a spot opens up. Like how many? Like it, what reefer is like since a? Do you have flatbed experience? Huh? Do you have flatbed experience? Uh, unfortunately, no. But as I'm looking on your website, it says that you guys pay for training. Yeah, Scroll we down. don't pay training. Uh, I see as I scroll down here a little bit. Uh, okay. it says six yeah, we six require months. Verifiable experience. Okay. Okay. Flatbed. Otherwise, you would have to start in the reefer. Okay. Okay. Well, that's cool. That's cool. I could uh, start there and then switch and then uh, and then flip over to uh, flatbed. All right. That'll work. That'll work. Um, so so let's say once I put in the application, I get verified. You know, I got six years of experience, by the way. Um, let's say I get ver uh, verified and I come in for orientation. Where where is orientation located at and how would you guys get me up there? Uh in Indiana and most of our drivers are getting uh rental cars. Okay, okay. I'm from Ohio, so that that would be cool. It's just pretty much the next okay. state over. <laughs> uh about what kind right, of right. Uh, uh am I able to bring my own DOT card when uh when I come in, when I come to orientation? Uh, I'm sorry, you said your own DOT card? Yeah, my, my own DOT medical card. Do I have to take another physical when I come there? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what I... What sorry, I, yes. <laughs> nope, you're good as long as you have sufficient time left on it. Oh, okay, 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 okay. That'll work. Um, So, Flatbed, uh, you, guys is, you, you guys is offering uh, a $1,000 minimum guarantee pay for Flatbed. That seems so low mm -hmm. for for a flatbed it's driver. It's just a minimum guarantee. Most of our drivers are making closer to two thousand a week. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, what does it mean by conditions apply at starting at fifty five cent a uh, fifty five cent a mile? Because you have to have at least twenty four months of experience. You have to have verifiable flatbed experience to start flatbed. Oh, okay. Um, you can't have, you know, a certain amount of violations. I just texted you um, a link so you can update your or send us your application because I don't show you in our system at all. Uh, no, no, I haven't. Uh, I haven't put my application in yet. Uh, usually what I do is, you know, just do my research okay. and everything. So, you know, I, I pretty much do my research before yeah, I put my no, application okay. in. Um about uh okay. about uh about leasing uh you guys do offer leasing there as well we do in either division um but there still would be a waiting list for the reefer and the, the lease oh oh okay 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 so as far as so as far as getting into in the in the leasing uh i will probably have to you you said i probably have to wait for it so as far as leasing though, yes. if if I do go leasing with you guys, uh, my starting pay will be eighty percent of the load. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, can you give me a Can you give me a little bit more uh, info about the about the lease? Is it lease purchase or just leasing? Yeah, it can be set up as either way. You can set it up as a lease to purchase, which is a four year lease. Um, but it is a lease to purchase, so you are able to purchase it at the end, which there is no major balloon payment. Oh, okay. So okay. The payments run between uh, four twenty five and seven twenty five, depending on the year make and model of equipment that you end up with. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then the the trailer is a rental. Uh, a reefer trailer would be around four hundred a week, depending on what you end up with. Okay. Um, and then the flatbed, I believe, was one seventy five or two seventy five. I'd have to double check. Text me back your email address so I can send you some information to it. All right, I'll 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 definitely do that. Um, so mm -hmm. can I? So about the dispatchers there, uh, the uh, that dispatch out the the dispatch out the loads. Are they drivers themselves? 
Mm-hmm. Okay, so then, so when, you know. No. No? no? Yes? No, they're not, they're in the office. Oh, okay, okay. I I was just I was just asking if they if the dispatchers are like former drivers, you know. I you know I'm I. Oh, not all of them. Some of them have been, but not all of them. No, uh, most of them have been in the industry their entire adult life, so they're very well aware. Oh, okay, okay, awesome. All right, so if I do decide to jump into uh, jump with you guys and get into, uh, of course, the reefer first. What would be my starting pay for a six-year mm-hmm. driver? Well, no matter what you do, whether you do lease purchase or flatbed, either one is eighty percent. Okay, that that's for that's for lease. But what about uh, but what about for a company? Company so flatbed twenty eight percent, reefers twenty seven percent gross revenue. Oh, okay, okay. So, so you guys not? I'm confused. Um, I'm I'm looking at as I'm. We look- don't pay per mile. We pay for the what well, we do, but most of our drivers select the gross revenue right now because of the rates are so good. So yeah, you can get paid per mile. Oh, okay, uh, okay. See, I yeah, that's that's why I was confused there because I'm I'm reading mm-hmm. the starting I'm reading the starting CPM. Is saying it's stating that forty eight cent a mile, and you're telling me something different. So, what? What? The reefer should be fifty one, and the flatbed should be fifty five. It says forty eight. Uh, uh yes, yeah, is uh starting at forty eight cent CPM. And as far for as which division? What is it for a reefer? For a reefer division, it says forty eight, and for flatbed, it says fifty five for flatbed. But for a reefer, it says 48. Hmm. But it's it's more than four it's more than 48 uh CPM if if we decide to take CPM. Well, the gross revenue is 27 for reefer. So let me let me pull up this document here. Hold on. Yeah, I don't know what you're reading because Effective November 18th. Oh, it's 50. It's 51. Let me look at the website. Where are you seeing that on our website? Uh, driveafc.com. Reefer Company Drivers. It says up under here, Reefer Company Drivers Advantages. Yeah. So... Is one second. Uh, I didn't believe it changed. I'm verifying that. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, all right. So, uh, moving on. Uh, <laughs> so, you guys, uh, for the lease purchase program is 10.99. Uh, we're of course is responsible for the the truck payment, fuel, trailer mm-hmm. rental, mm-hmm. Uh, trailer rental, and all that other good stuff. What other things that we might be responsible for as far as leasing goes for right. the 1099? Right, and that is easier to go over by me just sending you the document that, that has a list of all of those things. So if you text me back to your email, I'll get you that document for you to review because it shows you all of that. Okay, so okay. so you guys so you guys do ten of course do ten ninety nine and do you guys do W two as well? Correct. All right. So for yeah. so for W two, what all other what all others uh, that may be paid to the driver as far as breakdown pay, holiday pay, detention pay? Mm-hmm. Uh, do you guys all of the above? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. As far as holiday pays, the of course, just what the major holidays or just Christmas and Thanksgiving. Yep. Nope. It's all the major holidays. Oh, okay. 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 Um, the two. Do you guys offer a sign-on bonus? We do not. Okay. Okay. 
Um, so what are the average miles that 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 uh that I can average a week with you guys? Three thousand. Is that is is that three thousand is that three thousand like straight with no problems or is that like up and down that I might have to kind of debate with with my fleet manager? Nope. That so. What's a little bit different with AFC is your planner and your fleet manager and your dispatcher and your customer service are all the same. Oh, okay. okay. So they only have twelve drivers per board, so there's little error and room for finger pointing, and there's a lot of responsibility put on their shoulders for you to succeed. So the spotlight is on them if you don't mm -hmm. hit your goals. Okay. Awesome. What about uh? What about home time? Uh, am I able to take the truck home with me? Now, as far as now, looks like you guys got like different lanes. So you guys just offer like regional or as you hire. What, 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 are, what are you actually hiring for it? Because it shows here that you offering regional, which is home every week, weekend. That's uh, in our flatbed. Okay. So that's and that's only going between Pennsylvania and Illinois. Mm hmm. Okay. Yep. Okay, so when I'm home every week, would that be? And then we have a then we have a southeast regional run as well. Okay, get those guys home weekly. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Um, is so that reefer? Reefer runs all forty eight except for California, and they're out two weeks, home two days. So it's a day per week you're out. Oh, okay, okay. What about the north? Well, what about the northeast? Am I am I forced to go up in the northeast if if I'm one of those drivers that don't like to go up there? You're not forced to go anywhere you don't want to go, but we do service the Northeast, so we wouldn't, like, force you into New York City. Oh, so we okay. do go into the Northeast, yeah. Oh, okay. That's what's up. Oh. Sorry about that. That's what's up. Um, My two days, you mm -hmm. know, for, like, if I run regional with the flatbed, if I just, you know, if I go into the flatbed, um, would I be able to have a full two days off, or is that, like, a 30, like, a 34 reset? For regional, it's your reset. So that's just, so what, come home Saturday and get ready to leave out Sunday evening or something like that? Yeah, most likely it'd be Monday morning, though, because, well, Flatbed runs Monday through Friday. Typically, those customers are open only Monday through Friday. Oh, okay, okay. Where Reefer has, yeah, now, Reefer's going to have, you know, seven day of the week appointments. Now I'm seeing the trucks that you guys got available. Uh, are they all automatics? Are they all manuals? And what are the amenities inside the trucks? Yep. So we have manuals and automatics. They'll all come with an inverter and a fridge. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Cool. Uh, what about a driver cam? Road facing. Front facing only? road facing. oh front facing mm -hmm. yeah front facing okay 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 i'm in a facebook group no you know uh networking with many drivers but i do have a quick question mm -hmm. i'm 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 not one but do you guys offer uh do you guys offer felon uh drivers with felonies a chance to uh come on with the company mm -hmm. yep yeah i think it depends on the conviction so you're looking at anywhere from five years to 10 years, depending on what it is. Okay. Okay. That's what's up. Um, I only have like maybe one or two more questions. Um, what's the company turnover weight? Uh, that's pretty average. I mean, you have drivers coming and going for various reasons. Some are their own fault. Um, some is, you know, different expectations as far as their home time. Um, but it's gonna be the it's gonna be the industry standard. We're not we're not a super super company as far as retention any more than any other. Oh, okay. Company. But we have plenty of drivers that have been here for years and that continue to do really well. All right, all right, cool, awesome. Um, so to go back to clarify on what you guys is offering, you you're not only offering CPM, but you're offering percentage as well. Uh, again, what will be the percentage for both uh, 
for both divisions? Reefers 27, flatbed is 28. All right. For and, company. And, and that's and for company. Purchases 80. Okay. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool. Well, thank you very much. Uh, I really do appreciate mm-hmm. the, uh, I do appreciate the time. Um, I would, you know, yeah, take no this. Worries. Yeah. I would take this, uh, man. <laughs> I would take this information back with me <laughs> right quick and, uh, you know, talk to some of my other driver buddies about uh, about the company as well. AFC, everybody. <laughs> AFC Transport. I don't know. I don't know. I I don't know. Um, I just felt that it was. I just felt that this call was kind of mundane, especially after I told her that I was just, you know, pretty much window shopping. You know how you go into the store and that salesperson is so excited to see you. They have that gleam in their eye and that cheese on their face. And they be like, oh, yay. They be so excited and they, you know, all the giddy. And then when you tell them these three, I mean, these, these, these killer words, I'm just looking. It just, it's, it's like it just busts their bubble. So it's like the same thing with these recruiters. When you call them up, they so excited to talk to you. Yeah, I want to tell you about the company. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, let's do that. But then when you just tell them, I'm just looking. Then it's like, okay, whatever. Uh, just let me know what you need. Uh, just, just let me know what you need when, you know, if you see anything you like. And that's what and that's what this phone call felt like. It it felt just like that. It felt like it felt like when I said, you know, that I was just, you know, looking, you know, just looking and all like that. Then the 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 vibe of the call went from excitement to mundane, you know. So it was like every question that I was asking, it was pretty might it was pretty much like a one answer and out question. You know, so it wasn't really not that much engagement there, you know, but again, pretty good call. I mean, if you guys are interested in flatbed, like I said, when I when I brought to her attention that the that the cost per mile, I mean, the cent per mile was 48 and she was saying something totally different. That's why you got a call to clarify things. It says on the website 48 cent a mile. But yet you said it's it's a little bit more than that, which which was a good thing, right? But you but another thing about what she said that I took away from this call is the fact that you can get percentage pay on a W2. But percentage for flatbed is like 20, it's in a 20 percentile. Same thing with uh, same thing with um, with the reefer. It's in the twenty percentile. Uh, right now they got a list of people that's interested in uh in um, the reefer division. Right now, is uh nothing available at the moment. Reefer division is a forty eight state uh lane, so you will be running that. So you won't be home every weekend. You every other weekend or however you want to go home. Um, If you're in the flatbed division, because that's what they're actually hiring for. Of course, I didn't get the, you know, tart pay or anything like that. You know, it it was, you know, the conversation kind of felt mute. So, but, but in any case, Find out how much their tarp pay is and any other additional pay that you may get out of out of flatbed. All right. Um, again, flatbed is a regional division. You'll be running from PA to Illinois along the probably along the 80, 
80, 90 turnpike ish deal. Uh, you'll be able to get home every week, but unfortunately, it's only for a 34 hour reset. That's it. 34 hour reset. So you're not going to get a full two days off. So probably get home on a Saturday and then probably leave out Monday morning or something like that. All right. So just keep that. Keep that in mind uh, when you're asking for regional again. Regional, if you're doing regional and you're doing cent per mile, just realize that you're not going to get that many miles. Now, of course, when I asked that question, she said 3000 off the rip. But then I came back with the other question and I said, well, is that like like something that I might have to negotiate with my fleet manager as far as keeping my miles up? Because, of course, not every week you're going to get. 3,000 miles unless as, as if you're if you're a regional driver you can best damn believe you won't be touching 3,000 maybe about 25 you can only run 600 miles a day I'm just saying and you're home Friday uh you're home Saturday and Sunday or Saturday Sunday leave out Monday so you're going to average about maybe about 26 you know because you could do about 500 miles a day and that depends on on the pickup time and the delivery and all that other good stuff. So are you able to do 3,000 miles a week? I don't think so. Don't think so. Not on a regional deal. Now, I digress. Leave it in the comments below. If you can, on a regional, get more than 3,000 miles. All right? And like I said, regional... It's kind of different. They got a Southeast regional, so you could probably do it that way, especially going from Ohio to Texas. That's a thousand miles plus right there. So thousand down, a thousand up. That's two hundred. Uh, that's two thousand in the middle of the week. And then you could probably get about another five in the five in by Friday. So I, I think I pretty much answered my own question. I think you can get three thousand miles a week on a regional pay. Well, all right, okay, all right, man. But anyway, anyway, enough. Anyway, AFC Transport. What do you guys think of the call? Is this a company that you guys might be interested in? Uh, if you do flat big on uh, on the lease side, you can average about two hundred k. Six figures, they're all six figures. All right. But also ask about the ask about the quote unquote. Make sure you guys ask about the conditions apply type deal. All right. Make sure you guys ask that. AFC Transport. AFC Transport out of Jur or what's this? Out of Oak Brook, Illinois. Their phone number 331-333-8200. Make sure you guys give them a call to find out more about AFC Transport. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for this week's edition of MTC 21. Make sure you get your suggestions in for next week's call. And if you want to support the call, you can do that. You can do that. You can support the call with coffee and a shout out. So the way you do that, let me give you the little bit of details to do that. What you do. In the cash app, when you when when you cash app, dollar sign lockout men, just whatever whatever the amount for the coffee that you want to give me, I will appreciate it. I will go and get some and drink it all up. But at the same time, leave your name and the name of the company that you want me to call. I will get it called for you. You will also get a shout out for that call, and you will be the first to see that call before it get premiered for the following weeks that comes. It will be in the premier list of the upcoming calls that will that will come out. If you suggest that call, you will be the first to see that call because I will send you the link personally, all right? So until next time, everybody, make sure you get all the suggestions into the comments below. You can Gmail, you can email, you can, you can DM, you can inbox, all of them. That's Gmail, uh, lockoutmen at 
wait, Lockout Men Podcast at gmail.com. Over on Instagram, make sure you follow me on Instagram. That's the difference, sir. When you are a company driver, whatever the mileage you make, I'm going to give you four miles, 20, uh, 85 cents plus empty miles.